Hello friends, so in this tutorial we will be designing a vehicle powertrain in Simulink. So uh, generally a powertrain is a mechanism that transmits the drive from the engine of a vehicle to its axle, the main powertrain. The engine and the axle considered collectively, both are considered as collectively or act together. So the main components uh, of uh, the powertrain includes the engine, transmission, drive shafts, differentials, and the final drive or rear, rear axle wheels. Uh, these all make up to a powertrain. So we'll be designing the same model in Simulink. So we'll start with a blank model. So this is the workbench of the Simulink and I'll open the library and here there are all set of libraries available. All the blocks are available in this library. So, uh, so for, for mo this model we will be requiring a generic engine, inertia uh, torque converter, simple gear mechanism, differential to split the torque to two wheels on the rear axle and, and hence we require a tire as well and a vehicle body and finally a scope to view the result so first i'll be you i'll be importing a, an engine so you can search for it or you can simply type it here I'll be requiring a generic engine. So here is the engine. I'll drag it here. So here you can you can see B and F. These two are the mechanical connections which we will be requiring to connect it to certain blocks. So next I'll be requiring a constant block. Uh, we need we because we will be performing this in open throttle test. So for that. I need a PS constant. So PS constant and I'll connect it to the top of this generic engine. So I connected this one. Next next I'll require a rotational reference mechanical rotational reference so so mechanical mechanical rotational reference so here it is i'll drag it here So this we require it for the rigid connections so I'll connect one mechanical connection to this mechanical rotational reference and then we require inertia block So by double clicking inertia we can change the block parameters as per our, our requirement. So I'll keep inertia as 0.2 kg meter square and rotational velocity I'll keep this one 800 rpm. So apply and okay. 
so I'll just connect this one to the another mechanical connection of a generic engine so I've connected this one and now I need a torque converter so for that I'll type is a torque converter so I'll connect the other half of the inertia to this torque converter and I need another inertia we can just drag this from here by pressing control key or else we can drag it from this window on library function so and change these parameters again I'll put 1 and this I'll put 0 rpm because the vehicle is already started so this is 0 I'll connect this one to the other torque converter so I connected this and now we require a simple gear for transmission of the vehicle so for transmission we have block named simple gear so this is the simple gear I will add it here and connect this one this simple gear is used for transmission next we need a differential so we know differential splits torque or uh, torque of the vehicle into two wheels on the rear axle so for that we have differential here is the differential so I actually need it in different I need to rotate this one because my two signals are pointing downwards so we can click on this and press ctrl R to rotate as far as we need so I'll connect simple gear to differential and I need to connect these two mechanical connections of the differential to each tire of the rear axle so for that I need two tire so, so I'll just import the tire and I'll import this one for the one connection and another for the other one Now I'll simply connect these connections to the differential. So this is done. And now we require a vehicle body. So mechanical connections of these remaining tire we need to connect it to the vehicle body so for that I require a vehicle body block so I just drag and place it in front of these tire now I'll make the connections with respect to the tires. So I'll connect this one to here, and the other one goes back to here, and finally connect this one to here, and like this way 
so i connected the vehicle tires with the vehicle body and now finally we require a scope for to display our our result so vehicle speed is calculated by vehicle dynamics model so we need to display the graph of the vehicle speed as well as the we'll also display the engine power with respect to time so you can get the scope from commonly used blocks tab and run the simple scope i just enlarge this one and we need a converter to set the units of speed as well as the power which we will be displaying so for that we need a ps converter and check so i'll select it from here p s simulink converter simulate converter so what about clicking on this ps symbol in converter we can put the parameters of our units we can put the units so we want speed in kilometer per hour so for that kilometer per hour and just press apply So kilometer per hour, and we'll connect this one to the scope. And I'll connect this one to. Yeah. So now we need we have this one displays the. vehicle speed graph and for to display the engine power we require the same set on the right here and we need a converter as well so connect this one and we need the output unit as watts so just and okay so we have put the units of uh, engine vehicle speed as well as the engine power and let's connect this one to the final connection of this generic engine so connected now now we require a solver configuration additional configuration to solve our problem 
So for that we have a solver configuration block available in Simulink. So this is the solver configuration. So this is all the blocks we require and I just minimize and this one. So this are connected over to here. So this is what uh, our complete block diagram of a vehicle power trend looks like. So we'll just go through once again all the connections have been made properly. For me and run this after checking all the connections so our circuit looks complete and we'll be running this simulation in ODE 15S solver so for that we need to go to configuration parameters and here the solver it has by default taken auto and just in a select ODE 15S solver and apply so I'll just run this one and double click on scope to check the result so this is the scope which we have got of the vehicle speed this is the vehicle speed and this one represents the engine power so you can see the graph of the engine power where, when, where the engine power shoots up at what time it is maximum so from this we can plot we have plotted the engine power as well as the vehicle speed of the powertrain. So this was about the vehicle powertrain model of